Can we just make the devil mad and just say, I made it? Urbana 22 to Polly Liliani. We love you. Came from the spirit world above and could be heard throughout the house where they were sitting. Now I have been given the joy to help shepherd us this week. Strategy number one of eating at a buffet. You wear your loose pants. <laughs> Someone turn to your neighbor and say, loose pants. I'm just kind of looking to get an insight into kind of global missions and God's kind of heart for um, the world. Even experiencing what other people are going through and just to see God moving in other people's lives is something that I'm really looking forward to. of God's faithfulness at Urbana over generations, and he's got his eye on you because he has something great for you. We are about to hear some powerful stories in this morning's sessions. It is also about the way God is redeeming the mess of the trauma in their lives. If we're going to be channels of the compassion of Jesus to the world, we have to see through his eyes. And brothers and sisters, we are called to bear one another's burdens and thus fulfill the law of Christ. Being in the World Changers cohort has been such an awesome experience. I really love my Bible study group and I feel like we are all learning from each other and it's not really just like me leading, but it's like a group discussion that we're all contributing to. And here is the question, where among the margin, where among the periphery has God called you? Because wherever that is and to whomever that is, God attaches power and wonder. I learned to say yes and to move forward with Jesus even when it wasn't clear where we were going or why. I have confidence in God's promise to me that no matter what happens, the sun will rise again and I will receive joy. Or as my Serbian speaking friends in Bosnia would say, Sun se che opetizaci. Thank you. You see, my friend, there are no wasted experiences. There are no wasted exposures that you have. God simply transforms their usage and their application. When I listen for us as a group of people, I hear God with this common thread of yes, of surrender. And how does that work, right? What is the one next yes? In my faith journey, there has been this theme of trusting God, even when it feels like there is no way some things could happen. I began to fall in love with God's word, prayer, and building community. My self-centered relationship with God became so much bigger than me. The picture of heaven is every nation, tribe, and tongue worshiping together in spirit and in truth. Beloved Urbana, esto sucede en comunidad. All of this happens in the context of relationships with those who are different from us. Urbana has been, has been 
such a crazy experience. And this has definitely opened my eyes to how global God is, how, how small-minded, I guess, I was thinking. And as I looked across the coffee table at him, I remembered Psalm 23. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. <laughs> Urbana 22. Rise up. As women and men of God, loved by God, created by God, called by God, to live as whole life, whole world witnesses. Like the Ethiopian eunuch that you studied, what is to keep you from following him? Can I riff off of Anna Ayi for a moment? Is that okay? The retail price of a relationship with God. Well, how much is that? It's the price of the life of God, right? But today, it's completely free. Urbana has kind of like invigorated that, that passion for missions um, in my heart. So um, I'm excited to see where the Lord takes me uh, after this conference. I began with one message. Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. I've got good news. Jesus saves. And I wonder, is there anybody here who knows that's a good message to be able to shout? I've got good news. I've got good news. I've got good news.